the bell icon to turn on notifications. In the previous lesson, we started to take a look at some of the most common logical functions such as if, and, and or. And in this lesson, I just want to explore if in a little bit more detail, because if is a formula that you're going to use all the time. So it's good to see it used in as many different examples as possible. So in this example, we have a table that contains some furniture sales for 2018 and 2019. We have the product, the customer, the date, item cost, the number of items, the total cost, and we need to work out the shipping and the total. And notice over at the side, it says for orders over 1500, there's going to be a shipping charge. And that shipping charge is going to be 2% of the total cost. So we need to use an if to perform a logical test. So the logical test is going to be if the total cost is greater than or equal to 1500. If that is true, there's going to be a 2% shipping charge. If that's false, there's going to be no shipping charge. So how do we construct this? Well, once again, we're going to type equals if. The first thing we need to type in here is our logical test. So we're saying if the value in cell F4 and it's orders over, it doesn't say equal to. So we're just going to say if it's greater than 1500, which is in cell K3. And again, this is a formula that we're going to fill down. We don't want K3 to move. So we need to lock it by pressing the F4 key. Now, if that is true, so if the total cost is greater than 1500, there's going to be a 2% ship in charge and it's going to be 2% of the total cost. So if it's true, we need the if formula to perform a calculation. And that calculation is the total cost multiplied by 2%. And we need to lock that so it doesn't move. If it's false, so if the total cost is under 1500, there's going to be no shipping charge. So we can just put a zero on the end there. Let's close the bracket. Hit enter. And we can double click to copy that down. Now I'm very quickly going to change the formatting to pounds. And we can do a quick visual check here because what we should be seeing is that there is only a shipping charge when the total cost is above 1500. So yes, that looks correct. Yep. Yes, all of these look correct. So this formula appears to be working well. The final thing we need to do here just to simply complete this table is do a simple calculation where we add the total cost to the shipping to get the grand total just here. And just to make sure, I'm going to make sure that I have the correct formatting applied to this worksheet. So this is a very straightforward sum calculation. Total cost plus shipping. Close the bracket. I'm going to do control enter. And now I can double click to copy that formula down. So that is another example of how to use if. Now, ifs can get a lot more complex. We can progress on to doing things like nested ifs, where we have multiple ifs in one formula. There's even a new if s formula, which makes nested ifs a little bit easier. And then we have some really great formulas called count if and sum if which will count and sum respectively based on certain conditions. Now, all of these are classed as intermediate formulas. And because this is a beginner's course, those are outside of the scope of this course. But I would recommend that you check out our intermediate course if you'd like to learn more about this type of formula. But for the time being, that should give you enough to get started with. With these, it's all about practice. So try and practice on as many different data sets as possible. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.